While severe thunderstorms and tornadoes caused a lot of damage across the Tennessee Valley yesterday, the high wind gusts led to many toppled trees and down power lines, and some, like Jessica just said, are still without power today. News 19's Alexa Harley joins us live in the studio now. And Alexa, I know you spoke with some people. Can you tell me a little bit about what they said? Of course. Well, when John Whitaker woke up Friday morning, the last thing he expected was for he and his family to become a do-it-yourself construction crew. And following the severe weather and intense wind gusts that morning, a tree toppled right on to the trunk of his 2004 Suzuki Lorenza. Yeah, I was watching these trees over here and I saw them swaying. This one cracked and I seen it and I, they, I was like, oh, there goes the car, man. I knew it. Got it. You can see here that the entirety of the tree smacked directly onto the car. And once the winds died down, John, his wife Tina, neighbor Willie, and friend Cliff all rolled up their sleeves together, taking chainsaws to cut up the trunk off of the trunk. He told me it took nearly four hours to remove the tree, and once it was cleared, he took the Lorenza for a spin down the block. It can be replaced. Even hours later, there is still debris and destroyed trees piled up in his yard, though John says it's a new toy for his dog Apollo. And despite totaling his beloved car, John could still find some humor in it all. I make fun of him for having, there are two driver's licenses in the house. So he has two vehicles for each driver. Now it's down to 1.5. <laughs> John also said that since his car is still technically operational, you know he can drive it. Maybe keep an eye out for him on the roads, even catch a glimpse of him the next time you run errands.